Hello mga kabuhay! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, ang topic naman natin ngayon ay tungkol sa circulatory system na ito po ang nagtatransport ng nutrients into the cells at nagkakarry naman po ng mga waste no, na out of them kasi it is a must. So, kailangan po ito para tayo ay makasurvive o mabuhay kasi pwedeng ang ating cell ay magutom din, no? no Doon sa, lalo na, kung hindi ito nasusupply ng oxygen. At the same time, pwede din itong mamatay because of the waste, no, na meron po doon. And, being a vertebrae, lalo na po tayong mammals, no, we have a close type of circulatory system. So, ano ibig sabihin ng close? It means that general, no, may single loop lang po tayo na both ends are connected no, to the heart. Kasi ang circulatory system po natin, it is composed of the heart and also the three kinds of blood vessels. At the same time, may blood din po. Okay, so yun po yung ating topic for today. Okay, continue po natin. The first is heart. Heart is a hollow muscular organ that pumps blood throughout the different parts of the body. So ang ating heart po ay kinocompose po ito ng tatlong walls. No? Meron siyang outer layer which is the epicardium. Meron din po siyang middle layer which is the myocardium. At yung pinaka inner layer po niya is the endo Cardium. So, yung ating pong heart has two kinds of chambers, no? Meron po siyang uh, atrium. Okay. Ito, atrium. At meron din po siyang ventricle. Pero, um, ang human heart po, meron po tayong four-chambered kasi nahati po ito sa left and right. So, may right atrium po tayo, right ventricle. Tapos, dito naman po yung left atrium and also the left ventricle. So, yung atrium po, ang function po nito, which receives blood from the rest of the body. Okay? Pwede din pong itong left atrium kasi nagre-receive naman po siya ng blood from the lungs, no? Mamayaanihin po natin yan. Yung pulmonary and systemic circulation. The ventricle naman po, ito. Okay? Which pumps blood to the rest of the body. Okay? Lalo na po itong left ventricle. Kasi itong right ventricle, papunta naman po ito sa lungs. Okay? So, ayon sa pag-aaral na yung ating puso, no, nag-start po ito ng, na nagpa-pump siya, no, ng blood. In the fourth week of embryogenesis. So, nag i lang po ito pag ang isang tao po ay namatay. Okay, so let's discuss about the systemic and pulmonary circulation na nagaganap po sa ating heart and connected to the lungs. Okay. So first po um sa right side po ng ating heart, no. Um ito po ang nagre-receive ng deoxygenated blood. So ibig sabihin less ang oxygen and very high po ang concentration ng carbon dioxide. Okay, or the waste product. Okay? So it will enter sa ating large vein. Okay, the superior and inferior vena cava yan. Sa taas po itong superior, inferior naman po yun sa baba. So, it will receive, no, yung blood po na nandito, it will receive by our right atrium, the first um, chamber po natin sa right side, and it will flow dito sa tricuspid valve. So, tricuspid valve is one um, type of atrioventricular valves. So, ang atrio or atrioventricular valves is a very thin, leaf-like structure located between the atria and the ventricle. Yan, between the atrium and the ventricle. So, it will flow. Mag-enter po dyan, may tatlong flaps po dyan. Kaya nga, try. Okay, then pagdating po dito sa right ventricle, no, magkakontract po agad ito and ipapump out. No, papunta po sa lungs natin. So, first, mag-open po yung pulmonary valve. It is a type of semi-lunar valve naman po ito. Okay, then magpa-flow po ang deoxygenated blood. It will carry by our pulmonary artery, okay, to the lungs, no? Tapos magkakaroon po ng uh, gas exchange dun sa between the capillaries and alveoli po natin. So, magdi-diffuse po yung oxygen to, to capillaries and carbon dioxide from capillaries to alveoli. Tapos i-exhale po natin yung carbon dioxide. Okay po? 
Then, kapag po naging oxygenated blood na, no, very high na po yung concentration ng oxygen sa blood, pulmonary circulation na po ito kasi from the lungs, no, it will carry by the pulmonary vein naman po, pabalik po sa ating heart. And the left atrium will receive the oxygenated blood. And then it will flow with the mitral valve. Ang mitral valve, katulad po siya ng tricuspid valve na atrioventricular valves po yung dalawa na yan. Okay? Then, mag-enter po dito sa left ventricle. So, very high po ang pressure dito. Then, mag-open po ang aortic valve. It is a type of semilunar valve. Okay? Pareho po sila ng pulmonary valve. Then, oxygenated blood na to. Then, it will enter to the aorta. No, the biggest artery sa ating katawan. And then, i-ano na po yan, ipa-flow na po yan. Okay, ipupush na po yan all over the body natin, our body tissue, our body cells po natin. At yung pinaka-end po nun, yung mga capillaries na naka-embedded naka po sa ating mga organs. Okay? So, ganyan po ang nagaganap no, sa systemic and pulmonary circulation. And sa endocardium po ito, no? kumbaga the inner lining ng ating heart na it is composed of flat sheet and very dense connective tissue. So, summarize po ulit natin. Superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, right atrium, tricuspid valve, right ventricle, pulmonary valve, pulmonary arteries left and right, then lungs, then pagbalik po sa heart, pulmonary vein left and right, left atrium, mitral valve, left ventricle, mag-open si aortic valve, then aorta, then all over the body parts. So, bakit po tayo may mga valve like the atrioventricular valve and also the semilunar valve? Kasi po, to prevent backflow of blood. So, once na nag-enter po yan, hindi na siya babalik. Okay? So, it permit also the blood to flow in one direction. Kaya po, meron po tayong mga valve. Okay, second is the blood vessels, no? tubular structures carrying blood. So, here po, meron tayong artery, capillaries, and vein. And the venule and the arteriole, pag ano po, malapit na po dun sa capillaries. So, makikita po natin ang artery ay much thicker po, no? lalo na yung smooth muscles and elastic fibers than, than vein. Kasi... Uh, very high po ang pressure sa artery kasi away from the heart po ito eh. So, susupplyan niya ng oxygenated blood yung different um, tissue or cells ng bawat organ po natin. Tapos po, ang vein naman po, makikita nyo may valve siya, di ba? Kaya siya may valve, um, it makes sure that the blood flows no, um, to the heart in one way direction para hindi po siya magbabackflow or um, kumbaga, pag nag-enter yung blood, hindi na po siya uh, babalik ulit. Tapos, papunta na po siya sa heart po natin. And then, yung capillaries naman po, it is connected between the artery and vein. Ang characteristic po ng capillaries, very thin po yung kanyang uh, wall. Very extremely thin. Bakit po? Para it makes um, easier or to allow no exchange of gases and nutrients with individual cells, no? Kumpaga, para mabilis po yung diffusion kung ito man po ay oxygen, uh, nutrients, or carbon dioxide para mag-diffuse po siya ng mabilis. Okay po? So, ito po ang ating circulatory system. So, thank you for listening, mga kabuhay. So, see you on next uh, video. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay safe, everyone. Bye!